Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBP USD and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, I want to say big congratulations to those who were able to take the trade base on our last analysis of GBP USD. When we did that analysis, the market was here. And we did say that the market would be going bullish. Of course, that was because we had a morning star here. So we said the market would be going bullish. And you can see that's exactly what happened. The market bought from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there was a little sell, and Thursday through Friday, the market was bullish. So if you were able to get in on that trade, I want to say big congratulations to you. Now let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, um, we can see GBP USD sold from here down to this region. And when it got here, we did tell us that this has been the lowest region it has been um, for the past 30 years, or over 30 years. And at this region, we did say that the market will be going bullish and started buying from here um, up to this region. When it got here, this was the month of July. It ended as an inverted pin, but we did say that the market will be going bearish. And you can see that exactly what happened. So the market sold down here and last month ended as a doji. And this is the month of November, which is um, we're in the last week of November. So the month is coming to an end and we can see the market is currently bullish then let's consider the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame you can see the market bought from here up to this region started selling sold pretty hard and got to this region then um started buying it bought here sold again and two weeks ago we had this bullish move the market closed above the 10 day simple moving average and um, last week was bullish then let's consider the daily time frame on the daily time frame, you can see how much the market sold, lingered here for a while, then started buying, it bought up to this region, sold a bit. So last week we had the market buy this much, and the last candlestick on the daily time frame was or is a bullish candle. Then the four hours time frame. On the four hours time frame, you can see the market has been buying this much, but from here up to this region. Then the last candlestick on the four hours time frame is a small, um, that's a doji. I don't want to say it's a small bearish candle, it's a doji. And before that, we can see bullish move. So that's what happened in the market last week. What do we expect from the market this week? Um, this video will be a continuation of our last video, which has become customary of our analysis these days. So, we said in previous videos that <clears throat> GBP USD is on a uptrend, looking at the monthly time frame, looking at um, the overall, we say it's on an uptrend, and like we said in previous videos, that this is the first significant higher high, and this is the first significant um, higher low. And the next move we're expecting is a higher high. So right now you can see that um, this candle is about to end bullish, of which it's remaining one week for this to come to an end. And when that do, if it ends as a bullish candle, then we'll have a morning star here, and which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern. So we expect the market to go bullish um, more significantly and make a new higher high. So on the higher time frame we can see that gbp usd is on an uptrend then coming to the lower time frame that's let's go to the daily time frame we can see here that after it sold from here down to this region which was quite a significant bearish move it ranged here a bit and for the first time it got above this resistance region it got here retested this region you can see that and made a bullish reversal candlestick pattern then we are pretty sure the market is going bullish real hard. So this was where we marked last week to be a TP and you can see it's not yet attained. Remember there was not much volume in the market last week and that um, was because last week was um, 
US Thanksgiving week uh, there was less volume in the market but at least we still had um, the market showed us that it is still on the bullish direction so we can see that the market is going bullish so this week we expect the bullish move to continue you can see the weekly time frame this was a bullish engulfing bar we had the 10 day simple moving average cross over the candlestick here then here we have a bullish candle so we expect this bullish move to continue perhaps on the four hours time frame there's possibility that there will be a little sell and um, it won't do much i know it's not going to sell much but afterwards we're still going to have the market go bullish so we, ex we still expect the market to go bullish this week until this rtp is at 10. so when this is at 10 of which you can see this is the next strong resistance region then we can look forward to a sell and perhaps to retest this region so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you like what we say trading is a highly risky endeavor you don't want to venture into trading without proper knowledge if you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading you don't want to take this trade you can watch this video for educational purpose and it's going to serve you better than risking your hard earned money something you fully understand if you want to get a forex course which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market it covers beginners to advanced lessons it has 30 videos and three ebooks including my book trading without tears so if you want to get this course check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get the course i strongly recommend that you get this course if you're just starting out in the forex space or you are yet to find your way around the forex sector we also have an option where you can get the same course at 70 percent discount but for only one month so if you can't afford to get access to the course for lifetime you should be able to afford to get access to the course at 70 percent discount and within that period you should be able to watch all the videos and read all the books then you reserve the rights to either cancel your access or renew it so if you want to get access to the course at 70 percent discount check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can do that and if you want to subscribe for a signal service or give proper entry stop loss and take profit check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service and if you want to get a copy of my book trading without tears check the description of this video you're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy if you want a hard copy send us a direct message to any of our social media handles you can find our social media handles in the description of this video tell us your location we'll tell you the cost of shipping it once your payment is confirmed you have the book delivered to you so that's it from us on this video i hope you got value see you in the next video bye for now